Hey piggy people, so I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about Apple. So if you didn't watch my last video, Apple has been dealing with bladder stones since December and now she has a kidney stone. So the stone is literally in her kidney, too large to pass into her ureter to get to the bladder. Now a lot of people had questions in the comments. So I just want to address as many as I can. So number one, there was comments of people saying like you should put her down sooner than later since it's not something that's treatable. So I just, I know I don't have to explain myself to people, but this is just for educational purposes that I am going to explain my thinking on this. If a guinea pig is eating and drinking, then to me their pain is manageable. So first signs of pain, a guinea pig doesn't want to eat or drink. So if Apple's going to eat or drink and walk around and sleep and lay comfortably, then she's not ready to be put to sleep. And the moment that changes, I will act quickly. So another question is people were wondering if surgery was an option. So with bladder stones, you can get surgery. With a kidney stone, that would mean removing a kidney. Technically, it's possible, but it would be a very extreme thing to do. Um, my vet said she couldn't even find any literature to read about a guinea pig getting a kidney removed. So I know there's people who are saying that rabbits have before, etc. But the thing is, Apple, Apple has proven that she keeps making stones. So you could go through an insane surgery to remove a kidney, only for her other kidney to make one. So, I'm all about doing things that are going to help my pigs, but to me, even thinking about having a kidney removed is too extreme for me. Um, other people were saying, are there lasers that can zap it like you can get for humans or even larger animals? So you can correct me if I'm wrong, but there is no laser that's approved safe for small pets to blast stones or everybody would be doing so. That would be absolutely amazing if there was, but to my knowledge there is not, or I'm sure that would have been an option that we would have been given. Next, um, there's lots of people saying about medications and stuff that you could give her to get rid of the stone. Again, even when piggies have bladder stones, there's no one single proven thing that gets rid of them, that dissolves them or breaks them apart. Now there is something that I am giving her that's on the herbal side. Uh, so I have stone breaker which is from Valerie which is for humans to break up and help pass kidney stones. So I'm picking up another kind, it's called Renovive. It's You can check out their website, I'll put the name up there. Now I'm not telling anybody to use this, I'm not telling anybody it's safe, I'm not telling anybody that it will work. But I've used the stone breaker in the past and it's specifically supposed to be for the kidney. So we're giving it a whirl. So as long as Apple's pain is managed, then I'm going to be giving her the stone breaker. It would be an absolute effing miracle if it changed the stone at all to make it smaller or to make it brittle and break apart. Like, I'm just being realistic, I'm not getting my hopes up for that, but if she has her pain under control, then why the heck not? So the other thing is, uh, her pain's going to be managed. Uh, she's getting Medicam to help with any inflammation, and Medicam long-term isn't great on their kidneys or liver, but at this point, it, I don't want to say it doesn't matter, but it's on the back burner back of my mind it's not the most important thing and the other thing is she's gonna get an opiate pain med so we had two to try we had buprenorphine which we tried first and did absolutely nothing to manage her pain or to make her eat or drink so we switched to the tramadol and we have positive results with the tramadol so at this point which again this could change at a moment's notice but at this point Apple is in a place where I'm not going to be putting her to sleep. If you had asked me Thursday, I actually had called the vet to make an appointment to put her to sleep the following week. 
because that's how bad she was and I just couldn't watch her so at the moment I'm happy with how she's doing I am supplementally supplementally is that even a word I am feeding her more to ensure that she gains a little bit of the weight that she lost back and to make sure that she always has something in her tummy and then when I take her out to have something to eat I give her lots of extra water uh, another thing I do is put hay near her wherever she's sleeping to encourage her to eat a bunch. We have ridiculous hay piles in the cage right now so that she'll eat a ton. Um, another positive thing is her urine scald is almost healed. So she has a little bit of crummy skin to fall off still. But they shaved her, so she's staying dry now, which is a big plus, because before she was just absolutely soaked all the time. So her peeing isn't 100% perfect, which we're not 100% sure if it has to do with the embedded stone up high in her urethra, or if it's just from damage caused from stones being passed through the urethra, and that needs to calm and settle down. Hi, babe. So... At this point, which I mean it could change tomorrow morning, but at this point, as long as Apple's going to show that she's content and she wants to keep going, I'm going to let her keep going. So she has a lot of extra care right now, but I absolutely do not mind. So I have a new routine that takes longer in the morning and the evening and a bunch of times throughout the day, but that's, that's okay. But as I said guys, the moment she shows me that she's in too much pain or the moment I see signs that say her kidneys are failing, she will be let go peacefully. So I don't want anybody to think that I would ever watch my guinea pig be in pain and not put them to sleep because I can't. To me, it is absolutely worse to watch your guinea pig in pain. It breaks your heart. That is worse to me than letting them go. Letting them go is a horrible feeling as well. So I will always do what I can for my pigs for their benefit. I'm not going to keep her around unless it's for her benefit. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully that makes sense. So, yeah, basically I'm viewing Apple as palliative care that is just going to keep her as comfortable as I can for as long as that's appropriate. I hope she'll be comfortable for a while longer, but we have no clue at any time that stone could cause enough damage to her kidney to cause serious pain or cause kidney failure. And who knows if she makes more stones at any moment in her bladder or in her other kidney. So right now, if she keeps doing how she's doing, I will keep giving her the pain meds to keep her happy, keep feeding her extra, and I'd say like within a month or so, I would consider going back for an x-ray just to see what things look like, see if anything's changed or got worse. I'll be watching her super closely. And as you can see, she's alert, she's active, she's walking around. She is way better than she was uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Right now it's Saturday. So that's positive. Can Apple get better? Realistically, no. It's just going to be a matter of time, which is a horrible thing to think about. Could I wish and hope that those herbal kidney meds would magically make her stone smaller so that it could pass out? Sure. But realistically, kind of doubtful. But hey, you never know. Stranger things have happened. But my biggest focus is on just how she's doing. Literally every time I come in the room, I'm just going to be assessing of, is she okay? Is she not okay? And we'll take it moment to moment. She's an absolute sweetheart. And she puts up with a lot of crap for me carrying on her. She is one tough pig though. So if she wants to keep eating and being with her friends, I'm not going to deny her that. She'll let me know. Any other piggy who I've had to put to sleep, they let you know that their fight's over. 
So thanks so much guys for all your support. I'm going to try to make all the other videos, you know, more positive because I know the last one was very depressing. But one of the things that I don't shy away from is the reality of what things are like because it's not a, always a happy thing and crap happens and stuff can be really hard and really upsetting to deal with and really expensive. So I like to share all sides of guinea pigs and I think you guys all deserve to know the truth and to know what's happening. Look at that little bum. It's kind of funny thinking that she'd be like a pink and gray skinny pig. So anyway guys, um, I don't really have any other updates. I think I've talked enough. I still have the heat pad under here, so if Apple chooses to sleep in either of those beds, which are her favorite, she's going to be super warm and cozy, aren't you? And I think the warmth will only help to make her feel good. Alright guys, I'll talk to you all later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!